Watch as I change these guys into these guys. Thanks for stopping by and watching the next installment of... So, anyways, um, yeah, Van Sar, working on models, painting models. Um, I don't do it a lot anymore. Uh, yeah, truthfully, I'm losing my, my taste for it. Uh, they're too small. They require too much squinting. Um, so I figured I'd use this time to try to mimic some of my favorite YouTube creators. Um, with this one, Marco Frizzoni, who's one of the best guys with the airbrush I've ever seen. Um, yeah, so what we're trying to do here is we're gonna do a cold highlight and we're gonna do warm shadows. Um, I was gonna try to do a color contrast with this, but I thought maybe the exercise would be a little bit better if I stuck with the purples and attempted to try to do a little bit different here. Um, yeah, I know, metallics through the airbrush on a little Vansar model. Um, I a lot more successful than I thought I was going to be. Um, yeah, I don't, you get some confidence. So this next part here is I'm going to be spot highlighting with the airbrush using some white, white ink really thinned down um, the face in the upper areas. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I was not pleased with the way these all ended up after this step. Um, but, you know, trust the process. You know, I have more Vansar models if I need to <laughs> need to put some more together. So, yeah, that's what they looked like after that, uh, the, uh, the initial highlighting. So this next step, I'm going to be trying to copy one of my favorite painters, uh, Sam Lenz. Now, I also like... Miniac, um, I like Ninjon. This is all wet blending, Zambies as well. Um, yeah, this is all wet blending here. And uh, this is a style I'm actually kind of new to. Um, and I usually I just whip out contrast paints and, and let her rip. Um, but I really, I did a class with Sam a few, well, couple months ago now and uh, I was very interested in the painting style and how he did things um, you know and I watched hundreds of videos with Scott and John and you know Sam himself um, and just now Zambies who's also very good at this Lila Mev I believe does this kind of a styling as well um, practice makes perfect so I'm letting it rip uh, yeah, so I'll let you guys watch me bumble around with this a little bit longer, um, and then I will get back to you in a bit. So here we go. We're uh, we're doing this wet blending technique. Um, yeah, uh, I can't believe that I'm getting this. Although to be perfectly honest, it's very close to working with oil paint. Um, this is not that far off. Uh, what you do with this, that uh, big brush that I'm using right there. So you get that damp, and there's moisture that stays in the in the barrel area. You put straight paint on, or maybe just a little bit thin down paint on the tip, and then you push um, instead of really brushing. Um, this will unleash some water in there and naturally thin the paint down while you're doing it. Um, this is a great technique. Um, I've watched people do it for a couple of years now and just never really wanted to get involved with it, but. My lack of enthusiasm with painting models as of late um, has kind of required me to switch my techniques a little bit. Um, not to mention, 
this takes care of quite a few steps all at once. Um, if you do this right, you can get two or three different layers of paint down um, of different calibers. You know, I'm using a dark purple and a lighter purple. Um, I, I'm amazed at how well that works or that looks. Um, yeah, so this next step is usually not filmed for most um most other model painting things. Um, I don't do a lot of model painting videos, so I figured I'd throw this in. Um, and it's kind of fun watching me just zoom through this. But yeah, all this is is putting contrast paint on the metals, um, different spots on the shoulder pads, just different colors. It's real quick and easy going over the metallics that I sprayed earlier. Um, yeah, uh, I'll let you bash through this for a second before we get to the next next level of stuff. Okay, we're doing the oil paints. Because, uh, you know, love oil paints. Easiest way for me to get a warm shadow, too. Um, mixing acrylics to try to get a warm color is so secondary and just very hard to do in comparison to the oil paints. So what we're doing here is we're just laying it out on a palette and we're adding uh, white spirits. And the reason I'm doing this on a palette and not in a cup is because it's hard to see on the camera footage here, but I'm thinning this down to a point where I can actually see the thinner go through the paint. Um, not quite to the point where you can see the actual pigment uh, pieces, but just so it's nice and light. Um, the black, yeah, here I am difficult right away because I'm holding the brush wrong because I was doing acrylics. Um, oil painting requires the holding the absolute end of the brush and being very gentle when you're putting it down. Um, if you don't do that, you're going to have a problem even applying the oil paints. Um, but anyways, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be using black first and we're going to be going on the metals. Um, and most of the shoulder pads and things like that. And we're also going to be placing it strategically on the lower ends of stuff. Um, underneath chins, beneath arms, uh, between legs, anywhere where there's shadow, the black is gonna go. And then what we do is we go over with the magenta, which is a natural warm color, over the purple spots. And yes, this mixes as it goes. Uh, you can definitely do this with oil paints um, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cotton swab after it's dried for about 20 minutes I think um, uh, cotton swab dipped in spirits and we're gonna take off the top layer that's all on the high parts um, and strip the metallics yep, here we go we're gonna be doing it this is gonna be real fast and uh, I suppose you could slow the video down but I wanted to make sure this was a short video so I really sped this part up um, the end pictures are gonna be coming up here in a second but yeah basically you're you're trying to go down with all of this um, I'm so happy with the way these guys turned out. I got a little rust coloring on the base, You're ready to go. Uh, here they are in the sump. So I thought you guys might like seeing them in here. Um, thanks for stopping by again. Um, I'm amazed at how many people have found us and seem to like what we're doing here. Um, just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of what I got going on and uh, please like and subscribe.